So I met Carlos back in high school. I had to be, I don't know, we had to be about 14 and 15. We played sports together. We played basketball together. I've known Carlos for a long time. Um, I was introduced to his restorative power program. Um, I want to say two or three years ago when I think I saw a post on Facebook um, about his about his business. So I, I went to his website. I looked at what he was doing and I found it incredibly interesting. Um, so I reached out to Carlos um, to see if he'd be interested in speaking at our organization. Um, we, at, at, I work for Fortune Brands Innovations. We have nine employee resource groups. One of our employee resource groups is our Inspira resource group, which is focused on Hispanic and Latin American associates. It was around um, Hispanic Heritage Month, and our group was looking for a speaker to come in and talk to the organization about leadership, being your authentic self, uh, and, and what that looks like within an organization. And I thought Carlos would be a perfect fit for that, you know, given our history, given what he teaches, you know, both in the classroom and out of the classroom. Um, I know him as a person and know him to be a good person. So I thought he would be a perfect fit for our organization. And that's what convinced me to, you know, have Carlos come in and, and, and speak to Fortune Brands. The experience with Carlos as a facilitator was was incredible. Um, he's he's grown and matured so much since I've, I've known him in, in high school. He had such great perspective to offer to our associates. He was able to connect what he does in the classroom, what he does with his business to our business extraordinarily well. Um, even within the pre-process and the pre-planning, he asked really great questions. Uh, he was interested in the things that we were doing within the organization. Um, uh, he, he, t he took real care and concern into into the into what the group was trying to accomplish with with this hysteric uh, Hispanic Heritage Month event, and he really delivered on that. It was really moving the stories that he told. Um, I got great feedback from our associates uh, about how they're utilizing some of the, the principles that he spoke about within his within his, his presentation, um, and just overall really great feedback from from our associates. I can't say that I was surprised by anything that Carlos, you know, covered. I, again, I, I know I've known Carlos for the better part of 20 years now. Um, so I was just happy to see him in his element, uh, you know, doing what he loves to do um, and delivering that, that to our associates. Um, I was really happy with the connections he was able to make. I was really happy with how vulnerable our associates were with him. Um, that, that, that just speaks to how much personal rapport that Carlos was able to build, even virtually. If I was to recommend Carlos to another program, I would just say, don't hesitate, do it, do it now. You won't regret it. Simply, simply put, um, Carlos is amazing. Uh, he can he can facilitate this restorative restorative power program in, in any in any company um, in any setting, whether it's virtually in person. Uh, he, he's an amazing facilitator. He's an amazing storyteller. He has an he has an incredible story background in history. Um, and again, his ability to connect and build rapport with any audience is, you know, is, is incredible. Um, so what, uh, what advice I would give to another corporate organizational program, don't hesitate, hire him now. Thank you.